If you're watching this video, then you're probably listening to my sweet, sultry voice using a pair of Bluetooth headphones and earbuds. But as convenient as they are, wireless headphones and earbuds are not exactly the best way to listen to your music. Connection dropouts, limited bandwidth, and compressed sound quality are just a few reasons why your AirPods or Bluetooth headphones aren't the end-all or be-all for music listening. So is there a better way to listen to your music without having to go back to the good old days of wired listening? Well, yes, there is, and it's called Wi-Fi. But even that comes with a huge caveat. Wi-Fi has greater bandwidth and greater range than Bluetooth, and everything from your phone to a smart toaster supports Wi-Fi. But if Wi-Fi is so good, then how come we don't see any Wi-Fi headphones or earbuds hitting the market? Well, that's because Wi-Fi powered devices have one major flaw and it all has to do with power. You see, Wi-Fi requires more power than Bluetooth to operate. And when you consider the fact that the batteries on your favorite earbuds are barely bigger than a loony, then you can see the issue here. Using Wi-Fi over Bluetooth would quickly drain those teeny tiny batteries in your favorite earbuds, giving you less battery life and shorter playback times than compared to listening with traditional Bluetooth earbuds. However, Qualcomm has an answer to this problem and they call it Snapdragon Sound. Snapdragon Sound is actually a name that encompasses Qualcomm's lossless wireless audio platform. And that technology has been around as far back as March, 2021. The first iteration of Snapdragon Sound required you to use a device with a Snapdragon 888 processor or later, along with a corresponding chipset in your headphones or earbuds. Now these hardware requirements were necessary in order to use the Aptex Adaptive Codec Suite as well as the Aptex lossless codec. At the time, this was quite a breakthrough since it was the first Bluetooth codec that could reportedly provide CD quality sound without a wired connection. But recently, Snapdragon Sound has evolved thanks to the release of the new Snapdragon S7 and S7 Pro chipsets designed for earbuds and headphones. And with the new S7 Pro in particular, Qualcomm was able to introduce a new feature called Expanded Personal Area Network Technology or XPAN for short. In a nutshell, XPAN allows you to seamlessly switch your audio stream between Bluetooth and your home Wi-Fi, and the switch is done automatically. This means that you could leave your phone anywhere in your home and continue to stream audio into your headphones or earbuds, and you won't have to worry about your signal dropping. The stream will automatically hop over from Bluetooth to Wi-Fi. And because Wi-Fi signals have more bandwidth, Qualcomm says that streaming via Wi-Fi will automatically engage playback in lossless quality. And on top of all of that, streaming audio via Wi-Fi also opens the door for latencies of less than 50 milliseconds, even with high quality audio enabled. Snapdragon Sound also enables a host of other cool audio features. For example, the latest chipset supporting Snapdragon Sound feature a dedicated neural processing unit for faster AI performance. And this allows for better background voice rejection, for improved calls, personalized sound profiles, and advanced environment analysis for context-aware active noise cancellation. Qualcomm's latest tech also supports adaptive ANC, a new low-latency mic-to-speaker signal path, and hearing loss compensation. Now, if you want to try the Snapdragon sound experience for yourself, there are a few things you need to know. First off, what products even support Snapdragon sound? Well, there are actually already a lot of products on the market that support the platform, and you can even find it on Qualcomm's website. However, none of those products support XPAN. In order to actually use the latest Snapdragon sound features, such as the XPAN network, you need to buy a pair of earbuds or headphones that have the Snapdragon S7 or 7 Pro chipset built in. On top of that, you'll also need to be using a device powered by the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset. Now, seeing that both chipsets were just announced a few weeks ago, we aren't really expecting to see a phone or audio product with the appropriate chips until 2024. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait before you can indulge in Qualcomm's latest sound tech. Now, although waiting sucks, there's no denying that Snapdragon Sound marks a huge stride in the wireless audio tech space. And we can only hope that manufacturers jump on the platform quickly so you and I can get this elevated listening experience into our hands or ears as fast as possible. By the way, if you've been around the channel recently, then you'll know that we've been reviewing a lot of Snapdragon Sound enabled headphones and earbuds. One of those happens to be the Shure Aeonic 50 Gen 2 ANC headphones. And if you wanna know how those headphones sound, and whether or not it's good, then make sure to check out our first impressions video right here, or go to soundguys.com to read our full review article. Until next time, happy listening.